Hello, longevity friends, and welcome to another episode of the Longevity and Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Claudia from Berzalaga, here to uncover the groundbreaking strategies, tools, and practices from the world's leading experts to help you live at your best and reach your highest potential. If you haven't done so already, make sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter by going to llinsider.com, where you'll get top insights into all things longevity and lifestyle. In today's episode, I'm joined by longevity investor and visionary, Sergey Young. Sergey and I share a mission to extend healthy lifespans of at least 1 billion people. Sergey is the founder of the Longevity Vision Fund and has an ambitious goal of living to 200 years old. In today's episode, Sergey shares his top 10 strategies for longevity. Please enjoy. Hello. Hello, you. how are you? How are you, my friend? I'm very I'm good. It's been six months. Oh my goodness. It has been far too long and it's incredible how time is just flying by. How are you keeping? Yeah, very good. But uh, you and I and all of our audience, they're becoming younger and younger. This is great, right? We're aging backwards and we're growing <laughs> younger and younger by the day. It's, it's amazing. I love it. Are you 20 years old yet, Sergey? <laughs> uh, not yet. I'm working on that. We have four <laughs> different ages. One in passport. The other one is biological age, but all of us can have psychological age. So if you think you are 25, then you are 25. So I'm thinking I'm on 25 years young level, only on psychological level yet. But it's okay. <laughs> We're all working on that. So happy to have you on. And Sergey, as a longevity visionary, I'm excited to dive into your favorite 10 strategies, Sergey, to growing younger for longevity. So... I have, you know, five different secrets or 10 different secrets. Today we're discussing much longer 10 longevity choices that I define for myself that I use in my every day and every night life because we're going to talk about sleep as well. 10 things that I do for my own longevity that we can share. So number one, and when I have 30 seconds on longevity, I'm always telling people to do their medical screening every year to get this message across. The most important day of your life every year, it's not your birthday. <laughs> it's a date of your medical screening. 20, 40 years ago, the best strategy for protecting health would be go to church and pray. Because there was like almost the only means that we had in terms of predictive and preventive medicine. Mm -hmm. Right now, we can, we can complement spiritual ourselves with more focus on technology and the science that we have through medical screening. Full body MRI, ultrasound, CT. I mean, this is amazing thing. The MRI today, if this is three Tesla MRI, can identify early cancer in 94% of cases. The same done by humans, early stage, is still 30 to 40%. So that's why AI will help humans to identify early stage cancer. So number one, do your medical screening. Guys, we spend on our health less time and money that we spend on our cars. Mm -hmm. Isn't it ridiculous? So we yeah. need to fix that. One, book your medical screening, wherever you go, speak to the hospital next door, speak to your doctor and do medical screening. This is very important. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Second, you know, quit bad habits. And I know I sound like your mom or dad, <laughs> but smoking is minus 10 years from your life, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many dangerous things that we do there. One of the friend of mine, She's mountaineer. So she's going to, and she climbed a lot of, one of the top peaks in the world. So recently, she went to the mountain called K2, and mortality rate on this mountain is 25%. Actually, went to Annapurna as well, and mortality rate is like 33%. So like Russian roulette, you know, I'm originally from Russia, yeah. is one out of six chances to die. What she did is one out of three chances to die. And I mean, you think you don't do it, but you actually do it. Look at the statistical probability of damage to yourself when you're doing some risky things. Like riding motorcycles is 17 times more dangerous than driving a car. 17 times in terms of mortality. Okay, mm -hmm. be careful. Third, it is about driving. I already went to this area with motorcycles. Use seat belts. I'm traveling. I've been to more than 100 countries in the world. I'm not sure you can do it in the UK or in the US, 
but in some of the countries, people don't even use the seat belts. So mm -hmm. using seat belts is plus two years to your life. Not mm -hmm. using is minus two years. So be careful with that. Number four, it's about calories, it's about food, okay? And the main thing is, you and I know there's a lot of disagreements, you know, with the scientists, with technologists, to what extent our lifespan, what will add five, 10 healthy and happy years to our life. But there's one agreement shared by all scientists that I know, that decreasing your calorie intake would actually add another two, three, or five years to your life, statistically, okay? So we have different means how we can do it. Like I do it through fasting, for example. Mm -hmm. I do it from going uh, more plant-based. This is my food. <laughs> nice and green. <laughs> I have uh, buckwheat as well. Sorry, guys, to share all of that. But this is what makes our conversation uh, interesting as well. Personal and fun, so, yeah, right? This is, yeah, that's true. This is my sources of protein, eggs as well. So yeah. that's what I have for my lunch. So, yeah. you know, just be mindful of your caloric choices and not mm -hmm. overdoing this with kind of sugar or yeah. with industrial food will obviously add two to four years to your healthy life, okay? Yeah. So, and you can do it in parallel. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, number five. So we just discussed food quantity in mm -hmm. number four, right? Decreasing mm -hmm. your calorie intake. Well, mm -hmm. let's, in number five, we go to food quality. Mm -hmm. It is extremely important. Some of the things which are sold in our supermarkets, you can label them as poison. I, yeah. I, you know, I literally can give you a lot of examples there. Specifically, we need to be mindful in terms of the quality of the protein and in terms of the quality of meat and fish that we take, okay? Like, if you ask me, I know all of us have different means uh, and resources, but if it's me, every time I have a choice to do wild fish, not farm-grown fish, I go for the wild fish. Every time that we sit, which is ocean and river, not necessarily on the farms. And every time I have a choice of going to more organic meat, I'll go for that. Okay. Yeah. Without going into unnecessary details. So, and making big enemies like big food, I just want to tell you guys, the more you go natural, the better for you and better for your health and longevity. Number six is about supplements. If you go to sergeyyoung.com, there's a number of, I mean, it's all free of charge. There's a number of longevity supplements. You can download from there. You can go mm -hmm. for... Then uh, longevity choices, and that, this is what we're discussing with you and to you today. My top three supplements that I take is mm -hmm. vitamin D3, because I think we're all deficient of the vitamin D3, because we're always under the roof, unlike our predecessors through the evolution. Second one is omega-3, which I think is important. I have high cholesterol level. Like 40% on the planet, statistic of people on the planet have high cholesterol level. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think taking omega-3 from the best available source as a supplement is amazing for your health and longevity as well. And third, oh my goodness, I have another uh, seven <laughs> candidates. I mean, I can go on and on. Like, it can be milk thistle uh -huh. because of my high cholesterol level. It can be uh -huh. garlic because garlic, and right now you have garlic in supplements, so you don't need mm -hmm. to keep social distance after you, uh, you know, eat <laughs> yes. real garlic. It's For people super, who don't know, there's odor-free garlic. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I love it. Uh, it's important for your vessels and, and the work of your heart. So if I would to recommend third supplement, I would actually consider NMN. Yeah, it does matter. Like, ignore the producer, you know, take whatever producer you think is suitable for you. But yeah. NMN is a, is a supplement from new category of supplements, which are longevity related. Yeah. And some other examples can be like, ageless cell from its life extension, but it doesn't really matter which NMN you take. Um, Sergey, just a quick question yeah. uh, for you in case people are not familiar. <coughs> Can you explain NMN, what it is exactly and what does it do? So basically, one of the things it does for your health is actually improve your metabolic balance and it also helps your body to take out senescent cells, the mm -hmm. outdated cells inside your body, which is basically like um, cellular Zombie waste. Cells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a certain point. It also, it's, it's an important, like a feeding element and feeding input for mitochondria mm -hmm. inside your cells. So it's, it contributes to mitochondrial health as well. And actually one of the countries that I know, considering churnal, churning uh, NMN, mm -hmm. not in the, from supplement to drug. This is how powerful mm -hmm. 
list today. Mm -hmm. So some of us has last chances to buy this as a supplement before yeah. it gets regulated <laughs> and going to be prescribed. So I like the effect on this on the body uh -huh. and it's sold in many pharmacies. Uh, it's not prescription drug at all. It's a supplement. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like it. Um, yeah. Well, number seven mm -hmm. is move daily. 10,000 steps a day. It's important. I actually like to gamify it. So I use like um, Apple Watch to count my the rings, kind of circles and rings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool when you do a lot of activities like on the go, on the run. We have this binary view of physical activity. We need to like either run marathon <laughs> or we just sit in the office and we do nothing. I think there is something in between. You can yeah. do 10,000 steps a day. For mm -hmm. the sake of time, I'm not going to go into details like about the importance of heavy lifting or yeah. stretching or, mm -hmm. or like a yoga. Cardio, mm -hmm. you should do 90 minutes of cardio at least every week on a weekly basis. So then number eight out of 10 is sleep well. I'm using Aura Ring. You can yeah. use whatever <laughs> gadget you like. The simple rule, you should spend eight hours in the bed, which mm -hmm. gives you seven hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. And if you measure that, you can actually work on the quality of your sleep. First, maximizing like the mm -hmm. length of your deep sleep. Before I started, my deep sleep was somewhere around 40 to 50 minutes mm -hmm. every night. Wow. Right now, in different territory, it's at least two, two and a half hours every night. And it's kind of cool. You yeah. know, we okay. don't have time to discuss that. You can actually look to, at my book called The Science and Technology of Growing Young. It's available yeah. on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And the last chapter there, which is twice as long as, as any other chapter in the book, has also some information about sleep improvement. Or mm -hmm. you can read Matthew Walker with Why We Sleep. It's just an amazing book about mm -hmm. importance of sleep. And mm -hmm. uh, two final one. One is meditation. Mm -hmm. I, when we talk about health, in 80 to 90% of cases, people talk about physical health. Mm -hmm. But like, what about mental health? I think it's equally important or probably even more important than that. So yeah. the easiest way to regulate your mental health mm -hmm. is through meditation. I mm -hmm. also have my mantra, like every morning I wake up and my mm -hmm. mantra is, I want to live 200 years, which is crazy <laughs> today and impossible today. Full disclosure, yes. in a body <laughs> of 25 years old, I say mm -hmm. in the 25 years young mm -hmm. man, yes. and see how your body will respond to this mantra, or you can meditate like whatever school of meditation you like. Uh -huh. And finally, and it's tip number 10 out of 10. Be kind and grateful. If you're not happy about your life, like why extend that? So mm -hmm. I think, you know, sharing the best of you with the world, doing something good, doing, you know, something like an act of kindness every day. So I have this rule, small or large, it's not important. Make you a better person and you will enjoy your life. Yeah. That's it. These are such powerful tips and I love the summer, summarize into the 10. And I think a lot of people get overwhelmed. They're like longevity and it's complex and I can't do it. But the way you've broken it down there is so, so beautiful as well. Yeah, I'd love to hear in the last, since we've spoke last, I guess at the, towards the end of last year, what are some different or further longevity strategies that you've been trying out and testing? I became much more balanced in terms of implementation of all these strategies. So sometimes I'm actually, I think it's goals and cycles in life. So sometimes I've implemented my kind of cheat days <laughs> with the food, with the sugary drinks as well. So I do that on Saturdays uh -huh. and that's, uh, I know this is not exactly what one longevity person should recommend the other longevity person, but yeah. I think relaxing some of the rules and trying to get the balance in life. This was what I was working on in the last six months. So that's probably it. I'm also digging in into more the world of diagnostic and, and wearables. Mm -hmm. I'm experimenting a lot with different wearables and last six months, a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of companies brought a lot of new wearables to the market. Like mm -hmm. in terms of glucose monitor, I'm mm -hmm. now testing, I'm, I couldn't disclose the name it's because it's still in testing. Testing the glucose monitor, which is not testing only glucose level, but also cortisol level in the Great. same device. It's kind of cool. I'm also testing device, which is like watch, which can measure uh, real time your blood pressure. Mm, yeah. And it's kind of cool. It's actually, it's much lighter than watch. It's not something which you yeah. used to use. So I'm, I'm actually used last six months for going into world of sensors and mm -hmm. early diagnostic. 
It's so exciting as well. I'm currently testing also from Hanu Health. I'm sure you've come across some Dr. Jay Wiles about him on the podcast too, for heart rate variability and really understanding that more as a measure of stress resiliency. We have a question, recommendations for looking young on the outside. Uh, first of all, a smile, <laughs> I think, <laughs> decreases age quite quickly, but skin health is very directly correlated with gut health as well. And I think a lot of people overlook the importance of getting gut health. And as you said at the beginning, and what I recommend my clients as well, is that screening. And there are really great tests out there for screening as well. And then I think just for skin, red light therapy, there's really great yeah. strategies. And then, you know, some really great companies I've had also on the podcast, One Skin, they have a peptide for removing senescent cells. Um, Peter Diamandis is involved with them. He's one of their advisors also. What would you say, Sergey? What further yeah, I think I think it's this is t typical human beings, all of us. We just want to look beautiful outside. I mm -hmm. think like the easiest way to look uh, beautifully outside is to become a better person inside. Think about some religious people, you know, or people with a mission. Mm -hmm. They always look bloody younger mm -hmm. because yeah. they have a purpose. They're sharing the best with the world, right? They have more positive thoughts. So mm -hmm. I know it's. Uh, uh, and I'm like you guys, so I you know it's kind of cool. And if you try to do something on the surface, but changing yourself inside and gut health is, is the same area is like the easiest way to project <laughs> a lot of energy and be young. Okay. Yeah, exactly. As well. Good question. If you go to sergeyyoung.com, there's that beautiful guide that's infographic that Sergey was showing as well for anyone interested. Sergey, it was such a pleasure to have you on today. Likewise, as always. I know. We have to catch up again soon. It was wonderful. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. Stay healthy and happy. Hi, everyone. This is Claudia again. Before you take off, would you like to get a short email from me with some short but sweet fun tips, tricks and updates on all things longevity and lifestyle? This could be cool products that I've discovered, interesting posts or articles I've read and other fun and helpful things around longevity and lifestyle I've found for you. It's a very short piece of inspiration for you a few times a month. So if you want to receive it, check it out by going to longevity-and-lifestyle.com. That's longevity-and-lifestyle.com. And leave your email to sign up for the next one.